Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. And what we're going to do in this video is actually focus on an application called Matcha App. And it's something that I've reviewed before, many of you guys may have known I've reviewed it on iOS. This is a beta version that I'm reviewing today that includes some of the new features and new functionality. There is a new user interface and a few new features that I'm going to be covering in this video. So let's get stuck in. So as you can see, the user interface has changed. There's a new sort of navigation bar on the left-hand side, which tallies up all of the different notes that you have. So as you can see, you can see all documents, daily notes, help, and obviously where it's actually storing all of your notes. Down at the bottom, you can actually add documents and notes from any of the feeds, which is a great way of starting to add and starting to sync some of your documents in there, which is really handy. So once you're inside a note, this becomes a bit of an enriching experience. This has changed a lot since the original version, and they've got this new thing called Focus Zen feature, which basically, as you can see, it's sort of like distances all of the text from uh, some of the page. So you can't really see the page, it's sort of faded out, and you've got just the word count at the top, and just the abilities to edit you know, from that bar that follows you uh, just above the keyboard, which is great. So I sort of like this experience, it's very similar to what happens in other applications, very similar to what happens in Bear actually, um, but obviously Matcha has been around a little longer than Bear, uh, which is great. And I really like the way that it does this, uh, it's sort of very uh, dis distraction free experience. So from that keyboard above, um, so from that little section above the keyboard, you've got the ability to add in links, you know, formatting the text. Uh, there's really unlimited ways that you can do this. So you can actually add just regular headers, you can paste stuff in, you can bold, uh, and you can do different stuff like that, which is great. There's a word count at the top, as I mentioned, which is a handy asset to have. Now, the one thing you can do is obviously title the piece, but also add tags and location and data sources as well, which is pretty handy. Are all very useful for when it coming to search, in case you're using search on your iPad or your iPhone, you can actually find everything there. From here, you can actually move and rename and duplicate and copy link to that folder and there's lots of different note functions there, so you can actually have that detail there. There's also a really neat uh, button where you can actually export to a PDF or actually share some of the content via email or even just exporting it to things like TXT um, or HTML, or copy plain text, etc. So there are some handy little export features there, which I quite like. There's a nice undo feature, and down at the bottom, there are some like multimedia, uh, which is great. So you can actually add in better forms of media. So the first thing you can do is obviously add in images, which is great. So you can either import them from your, uh, your camera roll, which is great, or you can actually take them directly in line. Uh, here's an example of a coffee cup that they poorly put together in Costa. Uh, but it's a good demo. But the thing that really makes uh, Matcha amazing, I think, is the photo editing ability, something that I was amazed at before, was really impressive. You can actually inline this really well. And obviously, when you connect it to Evernote, which I'll explain in a minute, it actually inlines it and makes it that size perfectly, which is great. So the other thing you can do is add in text. Uh, you've got all those sort of rich formatting there, which is really handy. So you've got your headers, lists, block text. You can also add at the bottom tables, uh, which is a pretty impressive feature. I mean, obviously Evernote has this and other ones, but it does look really uh, impressive, uh, especially when you're having inline, inline photos with editing and then a, um, a really nice table there. You've also got a text card, and also you can import uh, files, which is pretty good. So you can only import from an iCloud drive, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, obviously they're uh, restricted to iOS. Now the other thing you can do is obviously see everything from your note feed. Uh, you can see an outline of all of the, uh, like the keywords inside the uh, piece, which is great. It's something that Google Docs does well. And you can even search within, art, um, within notes, which is a great feature to have, especially when you're looking to go and find something at speed. Now, what I really like is that inside the feed, you have the thumbnail and also the text. They also have a host of different help uh, example notes, which is quite nice to have. I always uh, have uh, really good fun going through those. Um, 
The themes are a great feature inside a matcher. You get four core themes, and once you choose it, it does really make the experience look better. You can also add a light and dark theme, which is pretty impressive, so you can scroll between the two, uh, which is a nice, uh, fun way to uh, sort of customize your matcha experience. Now, the other thing you can have online, uh, on setup on matcha, sorry, is the uh, touch ID, which I think is an impressive feature. So you can actually hook up your Touch ID so that you can lock your matcher when it's reopened, which is a pretty good feature. The one thing that is impressive is the typography. I mentioned this before. You can actually change size and font, which is pretty cool. And it's definitely worth recommending uh, to change the font when you start out because it makes the experience a lot better. Obviously, with matcher, you can attach to different storage sites. So you've got your phone as default storage, iCloud, Dropbox, and Evernote. It syncs really, really well, which is great. Overall, this experience of Matcha 3 in beta is something I've been very impressed by. The ability to create folders and documents is very enriching, but you have to be aware how much you use this. This is a $9.99 purchase off the iOS store, so it's something to consider if you're looking at writing content on the go and having a better offline experience, especially if you're an Evernote user. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this feature. I'm sorry this one was short, but I wanted to make sure to feature it this week. Anyway, guys, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive. Let me know in the comments what you think of Matcha, and I'm looking forward to hearing. You.